Business Talk Show episode 28. So we have today a very tantalizing couple, as you can see, they are very interesting. So if you are watching, please remember to subscribe and catch up with this very, very interesting couple. We are treating a topic referred to as mistakes couples make in marriage. Mistakes couples make in marriage. I tell you, no marriage is perfect. We all have mistakes that we make, but what have you done to, you know, work on those mistakes to resolve them? So here with us we have Daddy and Mommy to treat this important, you know, topic. Sit back, relax, and catch up with this insightful episode. Yeah, welcome to Mama and Jess Mommy Talk Show. Thank you very much. I'm happy to have you. Please introduce yourself to the guest. Yeah, I'm Adedi Jola Kintong Faloyo by name. Yes, my beautiful wife, as you can see. My youngest son. <laughs> Can you please introduce yourself to them? My name is Adiola Faloyo. Nice to have both of you on my latest talk show. So please, can we hit the show without wasting so much time? Mistakes couples make in marriage. What are the major mistakes? Daddy, let's start with you. Can you give us two mistakes, two important mistakes you know that you know couples make in marriage? Maybe our sister will also give us two as well. Okay, like uh, I'll start with, I'll, I would like to be a bit open. Okay, so I will interesting. Start with Viewers, I'm sure you will love to <laughs> catch up on this we, one. We started, to go with the glory, we are 8 years in marriage. Hallelujah. And, uh, like 27th. 27th of this month. Wow, so, happy anniversary. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> the starting was, uh, was a bit rough anyway because uh, we were coming from two different background mm -hmm. and uh, some mistakes came up and the major one I would like to talk about is uh, number one not taking along your spouse or your partner in decision making mm. Very when making decisions to take your partner out of it it mm. brings it brings some some kind of uh, bridge yeah, in the marriage, in, 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 in the marriage, and it can lead to so many other things. Mm -hmm. uh, like when we started, uh, my life, like my life, my lifestyle. Mm. I like taking my own decision without involving here independently, without mm. involving anybody, and it, it has been my life. So when I got married, so uh, difficult for you. It was difficult for me, and even till now, I'm just getting changing little by little. It's mm. not that I'm. Uh, perfect now with that. Uh, I take well, decision at times, at times <laughs> and I get to now like I don't even carry my wife alone. Oh. I'll now be telling her, eh, sorry, and someone is coming to visit us today. <laughs> <laughs> my husband does that a lot. Hey, I will fight as so, well. But thank God, uh, I I have an understandable wife. So many times she doesn't she doesn't even argue with me. She oh. just she just take it like that yeah. and. But I know it's a mistake on my own yeah, part and I'm trying to be like, correct it. Mm -hmm. The other mistake I can talk about is uh, about finances also. Mm. Not opening up finances with your spouse or with your partner. It brings uh, a lot of conflict in the home. Mm -hmm. Like when we nearly started, uh, I just realized something that if you are open with your finances, it will help your marriage in the sense that, uh, okay, if I'm receiving 20,000, for instance, mm. for example, uh, as a salary, I want to let my wife know that this is my Absolutely. salary. Because if I tell her, if I didn't make her know, she might bring up expenses that might be more than. Mm. And you might not be able to cope. I will not be able to cope. So I, I realized that actually very early. Like when I was back in Nigeria, when I was working, I just said, okay, this is the salary, I take it. So take out my tithes, okay, let's, let's work on that. So mm. that is what we have for the okay. month. So let's work on that. I, I believe those, those, those are two mistakes a couple makes. If, if you want to correct your or you want a healthy marriage, be open with your finances. Mm. Mm. And I think that lies for the women too because sometimes women viewers, if you are watching as a lady, you can relate. Eh? We sometimes try to exaggerate our expenses, you know, so we can make some little change. Yeah. Uh, my sister, can you relate to that? Let's hear your own part. Yeah, it is good to be open on finances, really. 
Okay, so that we, both of us will be able to plan on what is on ground. You understand? And when you have a cooperating wife, uh, she would not make excess budget no. beyond what is beyond what is available, what is on the ground. You understand? True. True. Yeah. So, in addition to what my husband has said, I want to say two more points okay. about uh, on mistakes. Mistakes. We couples can like, like to make in marriage, mm. and one of it is like not listening and this happens majorly to our men mm. you know men they, they cannot they, they, they don't have the, the, the ability to 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 to, to diverse attention mm. for instance my husband when he's working on the system on the laptop and you're talking to him he's not he's not listening do you understand listen to one's partner listen involves understanding what the person is saying communication making eye contact mm. Because for you to understand, for you must listen, make eye contact, get the point of what your spouse partner is saying, your spouse is saying. You know, sometimes you'll be talking to, to even we as married men, even in, in, this, in this world of technology, you'll be pressing your phone. Your husband will be talking to you, and you are carried away replying a message on WhatsApp or on Facebook. And at the end of the day, when, when you ask the question, you're talking off points because, because you, you did not listen. listen. Okay. So we need to listen to get out all our points and our, our facts in yeah. communication. Wow. Very, 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 very important. Wow, wow, wow. Very, 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 that, that's, a very, that's a very important point. The issue of listening. And I think it helps a lot in communication because communication is a two-way thing, you know? One person is speaking, the other person is the receiver. Absolutely. So if you're not listening, mm, then the you are feeling zero. You are not yes. listening. It will be balanced. Yes, yeah. it's a bridge. Thank you so much. Viewers, I, I trust you can relate to that. May God continue to help us as we, you know, work out of things like this. And moving on, you have related these mistakes to, you know, the way you live your life. And I really appreciate you for taking time to, to share that. With that being said, let's um, divert a bit to the issue of familiarity. During the course of my study, I was looking at, okay, what are the obvious causes? What are the obvious, you know, mistakes that couples face? And one striking mistake that stood out for me was familiarity. You are too familiar with your husband that you can serve him anyhow. Take you know, for taking for granted. So I was about talking about that. Mm. You are taking one spouse. You are, you are taking for granted. For, 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 for granted. granted. But when you have a digital, you are serving him in the whole meeting, the pot. You know, there was something I noticed one day. My <laughs> husband, sorry, I, sorry, my husband is watching this. You know, a visitor came, a male visitor, and I was serving. I felt okay. He's a visitor. He's not. He's not always around. Let me give him a bigger piece of meat. And I noticed that my husband was his eyes was on that his oh, face. <laughs> so I was like, ah, I started feeling bad. I think probably I should have looked for meat that were equal. equal. You know, even though he didn't say it out, but I could actually, I could pick up that said. Uh, that was a mistake on my side. May God continue to help us in that issue. But I want to ask both of you, the issue of familiarity, how have you been able to deal with it in such a way that you respect each other, even in your lowest and, and highest moment, you don't take each other for granted in marriage? Yeah, I would like to respond about the question list. Fine. You know, we respect is very, very important. Mm. Respect is taking your spouse for who he or she is acknowledging them, showing appreciation, showing gratitude to them. Any little thing done, we should respect. Now, I want to relate. The, the, there was a, when we, when we nearly got married. I think it was around the first year of our marriage. My husband actually always helped me to sweep. So <laughs> now the day he didn't do it, the sweeping. So I was like, honey. You have not sweat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. That's the thing for granted. I said, honey, you have not sweat today. And he was so, 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 I mean, so, so, so angry. Oh Very furious. Oh I was like, is that, is that my duty? Is that my duty to sweep? That's what I've been helping you now. You've turned it into my duty. Oh. Then, <laughs> sincerely, I then, I, 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 I know you. Yes, then I realized truthfully. It wasn't. Was it his duty to sweep? Mm, it's not his duty. Then suddenly I realized it was not his duty to sweep, but it was just a payment. Mm. So we women, we should not take any act of love 
for or granted. any show of love that our husband showed to us mm. for granted. Mm. So I was like, I'm so sorry. That I know to sweep it is not your duty to sweep. That you just helping me, you just helping me out. I'm sorry. I will never be, I will never repeat such a mistake <laughs> again. Actually, I can, I can relate to that because I, I remember previously. <laughs> Uh, there was a time, even before we got married, mm. there was a time we went visiting a friend. And uh, 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 let me use this word. My wife is, uh, we call her one name, Tony Tony in Yoruba. Tony Tony means uh, something clean, clean. Ah! And so she, don't, clean, she doesn't clean. like dates all around. Mm. Just like that. So when we got to the place, actually, the house was so dirty. I said, cobwebs everywhere. So she started cleaning first. Oh my goodness. That's the so visitor. So she started cleaning. I was like, okay, let me not just sit back. Let me help. So I started helping and things like that. So the next thing she now said, ah, what did I do to that? Uh, okay, she, she cleaned one room because that place was a, like a four bedroom flat. So she cleaned one room. I didn't even know. So I went there back again, started cleaning some things. So the next thing she asked from, the, from where she is, what did you do there? I said, I saw some cobwebs also. I've, I started cleaning. He said, No, if you, if you clean that place, that means you must sweep the place. I was so angry. I like, <laughs> sweep the place for what? <laughs> so, you know, then uh, immaturity anyway. Mm. I didn't even say anything. I just left, left everything she was doing, left it to her. I just went to one room and I slept. Yeah. She started looking for me. <laughs> he got to a stage, she was just like calling her. Then I came out, uh, what is it? Yeah. Said, so, because I was helping you. Mm. But that is who I am anyway. I don't hide my feelings. Which is um, I, I just I come out. I let you know that you did something wrong immediately. Mm. And things like that. And God is helping us anyway. God is helping us. It's time we are growing all those all things. Those things and, yeah. Mm. Just like that. Huh? The issue of familiarity. I also yeah. say on the on the wife side too. You know, sometimes the men they think they are used to, you know, the woman giving back. She has, you know, reminding her that hey, you need to, you know, you need to package yourself. You need to package. Ah, you know, I, I, normal, to... I normally remind her <laughs> because there are sometimes she will just uh, I have given her, so... I just lose ah. her. I just tell her hello. Sorry, what? Because you give back to two or what? There are some that have given back to seven, ten. Uh -huh. And they are they're still they pack up themselves. Mm -hmm. So what, what is it? Mm -hmm. Don't just put on uh, one cloth like that because you are tom or what? No, you must look look good so that anytime any I come in, I see something good also. Absolutely, because there are so many things outside that are good. You know? mm -hmm. So I believe uh, that's where we have to on the woman's side. We have to. You know, work on it. Let's just wrap up by asking what advices you have, you know, for couples out there for these mistakes that we've discussed about. What advice do you have? Let's start with you. Michael. Number one, I think uh, for couples out there, the first thing that must be done is respect. Mm -hmm. so and, uh, respect is reciprocal, so you must respect each other. <coughs> And like my wife earlier said, respect is just taking the other party for who they are. That's just it. Mm, because you must remember this, that you are coming from two different backgrounds. And mm. there's no how you think you, 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 might, you cannot think No, I... you cannot. So gradually, as, uh, as time pass, then you will be able to guide against some things. Okay, this is what uh, this person wants. This is what he doesn't want. Mm. This is what she wants. This is what she doesn't want. Mm. It's number one. Then number two, you must tolerate. Tolerance. It's very, very, very important. important. Tolerance is very, very important. Because if you don't tolerate each other, then gradually the marriage is coming. I mean, you have all, everybody has its own piece of yeah. personality. Individual differences. Mm. So we, so we, must, we need to bridge the gap, the gaps between one another. Wow, thank yeah. you so much, my brother. Then patience. Hmm. Patience, very, very important. I need to buy patience from market That is one thing. Very, very I'm still praying to God to go <laughs> It's very, very important because sometimes you need to overlook sometimes. Mm, absolutely. Yeah, you need to overlook sometimes. So, and when you lack patience, that's when you talk at every action. You want to react at every situation. You understand? You will not have the ability to just 
There's no shock absorber. <laughs> Just like in the vehicle. When the vehicle lacks shock absorber, there is less activity that the, 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 the vehicle can do. That's true. Or less passengers that the vehicle would be able to to, 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 to carry or take mm -hmm. them take at, at a particular period of time. So you must be able to have shock absorber to absorb <laughs> certain reactions, certain reactions that. issues that that comes issues that come with Especially on the on the side of the women, you must have shock absorber because women we have pride. That's true. And we ego is pride. Yeah. Ego, yeah. Mm -hmm. They want so, to be the mm, head. You know that that ego that uh, I know we are the head is always there, but mm -hmm. uh, at least if you have a shock absorber, you will able to carry this mechanism, you manage us very well. And, the marriage will do. That's and very very and time. Yeah. Patience. Then forgiveness. Woo! Forgiveness. That's wrapped it all. Yeah, don't, forgiveness. Don't, don't keep malice. Mm -hmm. I can give an example. I was about to, to talk about I, I, that. I, 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 can that. Give, I can give you an example. Yes. That. Yes. Can we, when, we nearly, yeah, when we nearly got married, mm -hmm. there was a time like that. We, we had this quarrel among uh, uh, the two of us and I have to fight. He has to fight. It goes on like I, that. You I, know, I, I did not have to say sorry. I learned, actually, I learned how to say sorry in this marriage. <laughs> when I was going up, I don't like saying sorry. I, my, my, my nature was no. They always, they, the people must always say sorry to you. me. Yeah. Wow. So I, I don't like saying sorry. So I have to fight. So we, we got into the argument, the, the fight, and I couldn't say sorry. We we're looking at ourselves, then we're keeping money for this. Wow. For this. We're and not talking. It wow. got to a time that it was too it was too hard that even when uh, my first son was crying in the sitting room, I just left. I was in the kitchen. The boy was crying in the sitting room and was looking for me and was falling all the way to the kitchen crying. And my husband did not pick up. I was like, oh, he didn't love me that and the job says it is the, 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 the that you love, that you love the child. <laughs> but definitely, my son is fine. He didn't come, so he doesn't love me. Just because we're fighting, because no one wanted to say oh, sorry. You know so when when was the thing was coming down was when I I in the midst of that malice, I went to pray. <laughs> I went out to pray. So I was about to start the prayer, and the spirit just told me, "You are a fool." The spirit of God. You, you will arrest you. I was like, oh. came to pray. He said no. Your house is not in order. You came to oh. pray. Thank God that the Spirit of God took you. Because I, it was around 7 midnight. I wanted to do this there. Imagine, in so, that sense. Yeah. So I rushed back home. You still laugh. Don't laugh yet. I rushed back home. On getting home, what happened? I didn't meet my wife at home. She left already. Oh my goodness. She went to her mother's house. Oh my goodness. I started calling. Only, only nobody to us. I was like, where could she be? Where could she be now? So I took my phone, I called her phone, she didn't pick up, I said no, let me go to her parents' house. I wow. drove to her parents' house, and I met her there, she was pretending, but the mother, oh, I know, thank me. God. I, I, for the mother, honestly, I just said it's my parents. <laughs> thank God for the mother. The mother is so understandable that she knew something went wrong. She knew, she knew. She was like, I've been asking her since money, but why are you here? Why did you come here? Why, 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 why are you visiting us at this time? Why are you with me as your husband? And she kept saying, nothing, nothing. I was just saying, nothing, nothing to my room. But I like the fact that you guys are involved with very people. I know, that's why. Because I stand, yeah. I stand, 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 In the intro of this video, I stood on the ground, solved your problems. Agree to disagree or whatever they say, you know. Mm -hmm. You are on a team. Both of you are on a team. Whatever it takes, you are just trying to solve it. Except in extreme cases where you go that okay, this is beyond. But I always am on the am on the perspective that. Uh, oh, so, thank God for the grace of God. Since we got married, there has never been a time we have been so petty. We even when we even got married, we finally have this uh individuals uh quarreling and things like that. We don't involve people. We see the thing and we we'll come back again. One, one way or another, we we'll come, we'll come back again. And thank God we are growing and overcoming such. We are growing and to get sweeter and sweeter in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, that's not, Amen. we've said so much, you know, and now we want to be laughing and get ourselves up. There. So we'll round it up by both of you giving our tips. Um, um, a techo, let's call it a techo. Okay. You know, we understand that all, all these things we pointed out the issue of forgiveness, dealing with malice, 
it's little little things like this. If they are not dealt with with the fear of God, because as you say, the spirit of God arrested you. It's always good to put your paramount. Let Christ be the pillar of our homes. Because even when that pride comes, it takes the spirit of God to humble you. Have you sorted this thing out with your husband? Have you sorted this thing out with your wife? You will always arrest one, either the husband or the So we thank God for God. And I advise you what please make Christ the pillar of your homes and you will continue to guide you. Please, if you have any take home daddy for the viewers, if you don't mind, please. I just like what you said uh, in every marriage to have a healthy marriage you need the wisdom of God so you have to use Jesus as a center of all so we need wisdom to carry on because it's not easy by our flesh, our human flesh so we, cannot, uh, yeah, we need wisdom for it so. and with that I pray that God will just help us out because it's not easy anymore. Thank you so much for your time. And Welcome, Mama. Really appreciate. I'm sure viewers out there will be blessed. Please don't forget to subscribe. See you soon. Subscribe. Bye. <laughs>